Alright people, welcome to a new Hearts of Iron 3 video. Um, so, this time I want to keep you on hype, keep the hype very high, because this is a special video. Um, before going into details, please believe me, it took me uh, more than one month and a half to do all the research script and test and correct of course all the, the mistakes present in the script but so let's have a look at the date it's midday of April 28 1942 Operation Barbarossa has failed and now Germany is <coughs> gathering up forces for a new offensive and if you are a history nerd like me you will know that in the summer of 1942 the, the German Wehrmacht tried and in the end failed to conquer the oil fields of the Caucasus namely Maikop oh, Maikop and Gronzi, yep. but most important, the ones of Baku. 1942 was the decisive year of the war because the tide turned already in, uh, I was calling in the Pacific Theater with the Battle of, of Midway. And what the fuck? Are... Okay, sorry, <laughs> I should have not said that. Anyway, um, was the turning point of the Second World War, and to make, let's say, the hypothetical Barbarossa scenario in Black Eyes, Hearts of Iron 3, what I would like to show you here, guys, is the historical order of battle for the German Wehrmacht. For case blue. Yes, I know you won't believe me, but I have here scripted all the units with the historical commanders once again, and most important, I have put these units in their historical positions. They were deployed in these sectors when um, case blue began. So, just to give you a quick overview about the tremendous efforts I've put to make this order of battle. Uh, Army Group North, the, we have the German 16th Army, which is deployed in the south of the lake, uh, I don't remember the name. And the 2nd Army Corps is holding the Damien's pockets, it was relieved in April 1942 by some infantry forces. Why the German 18th Army is besieging Leningrad as well as the Uraniumbaum pocket. Um, please, in reality, the, the Red Army didn't have an HQ unit here, they had many more troops. And um, yeah, some security units down here. The, the Finns, they are historically. I mean, they also besieged Leningrad from the north, like here. Historically, they were defending this line here. But actually, something went wrong with the AI, and now the Soviets are pushing them back. Uh, then, what we have here Army Group Center. Oh, Army Group Center, we have some reserves deployed on the far uh, left flank of Army Group Center. Then, we have the, the famous 9th Army, which is defending the left and the bottom left of the uh, reserve salient while the third panzer army finally because the, the third panzer army doesn't have any tank division is holding no doesn't have them is holding the, the right flank of the reserve salient while the, the fourth army is holding the bottom again the right bottom end of the uh, salient. Then we have 
the second panzer army, which is holding this line here, this section of the line here, and as the, the main offensive was to be directed in the oil fields of Caucasus, Army Group South was the one which received the highest amount of uh, reinforcements for the Case Blue Offensive. The German Second Army, the Fourth Panzer Army, was it? Hofner, the leader. I don't remember. I don't know. I thought maybe this is this is wrong. I have to double check. Oh, that's so bad of me. Ah, uh, then we have the Second Hungarian Army, the Sixth Army, the, the famous Sixth Army, which was then encircled and not annihilated in uh, Stalingrad. Then the first panzer army which is ready to, to strike here 17th army together with the italian uh it's called the corpo di spedizione italiano the italian expeditionary corps in russia and some reserves including some romanians cavalry units we have the 11th army here ready to, to strike against sevastopol um, a lot of Romanian units, uh, which would be then... Okay, so the, the, the Romanian 3rd Army here, which would be then deployed along the uh, northern section of the... Not northern section, I was that the, the left flank of the, the German 6th Army on the... Later. I'm oh, sorry, here on the uh, attack on Stalingrad, while the, the Romanian 4th Army was made uh, after the, the beginning of, of Case Blue by grouping together all those units which were under the, the control of the uh, 11th Army by, yeah, these and others. And just take a look at how messy was the disposition of troops, especially of the uh, Romanians. Um, and also here in Brest, we have the Italian 8th Army, which would be ready by August only. And so, so far so good, because there are plenty of sources with which to, to investigate the Axis order of battle on the Eastern Front for case route. The real nightmare actually began when I had to script the, the troops under the command of Army Group D. Of, yeah, Army Group D. Because, yeah, sorry, I, I did use some modifiers to boost the, the speed of the units a little bit. Just don't mind for this video. I'm, I'm not going to play anything here. But, uh, yeah, I, I was saying... It was a real nightmare to, to find the sources and just close the window because of the fucking bells. Okay, yeah. Because apparently nobody cares about the, the divisions that were stationed in France in refitting and maybe training or doing nothing while the, their comrades in the East were fighting in Stalingrad and in the Caucasus. Really, um, what I had to do here was to look individually for every unit on the German uh, lexicon der Wehrmacht, the German encyclopedia of the Wehrmacht, the position of these units. And believe me guys, for each division it took me, I don't know, I think I dedicated three weeks just in finding and scripting, okay, so the, the 327th Infantry Division was deployed around Nantes, the, uh, the, wait, wait, wait. the 17th division was, was deployed around Twin Pair and blah 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 and so on and so on. So you can really imagine <laughs> the frustration of finding one by one all these positions. But still, I managed to do it. And once again, here yeah, you see some headquarters units. These were the units that were actually trained. And I already trained them. Where, where are they? I don't see them in the queue. Maybe I did a mistake. I forgot to add them in the queue. Wow, great. But so here, for instance, 
yeah, we have some divisions which were officially trained and raised in 1942. And this time, ah, sorry, I forgot, we have the 12th Army here uh, controlling the um, Serbia and Croatia and the ex Yugoslavia. We have the Festen Brigade Kreta in the north. I have the Army in Norway. I think it's this can be translated as Army Norway in English, as well as the 20th Mountain Army here uh, along the how is that called? Um, M M in the Murmansk region, yeah. And this time I've also added some an extra bonus, so uh, Rommel's Africa's Panzer Army, including the uh, German Africa Corps with the two 15th and 21st Panzer divisions and the Italian uh, Army Corps. And yeah, that's that's all basically because if the Barbarossa project will go on and I will do my best to carry it on I would like to include this scenario in the um, in the I mean this order of battle in the Barbarossa scenario as well um, let me know if you like I could maybe take just the army group south and uh, improve the already existing scenario for um, House of Iron 3, which is already present here. And oh god! Oh damn! Uh, these are the two reserve army corps, but they should not be here, they should be here. My bad. So you see, you see how, how, how many corrections and fixes I have to do before. Oh my god, before showing the final product, but anyway, now, now it's too late. And yeah, let, let me know, I hope you will appreciate, and yeah, as always, if anybody is willing to help me for this project, um, yeah, just write me a comment or text me on the Paradox forums, and that's all. Hope to see you soon with another special Order of Battle video. Again, thank you very much for watching, thank you very much for appreciating this, and I wish you all the best. Bye bye.